we are in the last week of November and we celebrate a holiday in the United States this week, the fourth week of November. And so this is a little story about what that holiday is and how we celebrate it and how it got started many, many years ago. Read along with me. The Pilgrim's Journey 400 years ago. On the fourth Thursday of the month of November, the United States celebrates a holiday called Thanksgiving. It is in honor of the very first Thanksgiving, which happened in 1621 in a place called Plymouth in what is now the state of Massachusetts. Who were the people at the first Thanksgiving? Some were immigrants from England and some were Native Americans. Here is their story. In 1620, a group of people left England because they wanted to be free to worship as they wished. They felt that they did not have religious freedom in England and they decided to go to a new land to begin their own new church. In English, a person who travels far away for religious reasons is called a pilgrim. The pilgrims came to the United States. They sailed across the Atlantic Ocean in a ship called Mayflower. <clears throat> they traveled thousands of miles and the journey was very long and very difficult. They reached Massachusetts in the fall of the year 1620, and they began to build a community beside the Native Americans who lived there. They were from the Wampanoag tribe, and they helped the pilgrims to survive the cold winter and to grow food for their families. The pilgrims called their home Plymouth. The pilgrims and the Native Americans became friends and learned from each other and lived together in peace. They were thankful for their friendship for their good harvest and for their new life in this new community. When they had survived one year in Plymouth, they decided to celebrate by having a feast together to share the harvest. The food was what they hunted, fished, and grew on the land. They probably ate foods like wild turkey and duck, venison, fish and seafood, vegetables like squash, beans, and corn, and fruit and nuts. They ate they celebrated and they gave thanks together. Thanksgiving Day is a federal holiday in the United States. Traditionally, we now eat stuffed turkey with cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes with gravy and sweet potatoes or yams. We might eat vegetables such as Brussels sprouts or lima beans as they did at the first Thanksgiving, green beans and corn. We also love our desserts traditionally there is pumpkin pie, but some people prefer apple pie or pecan pie. This year, 2020, we celebrate the 400th anniversary of the Pilgrim's arrival in their new home in Plymouth. In November of 2021, it will be 400 years since the very first Thanksgiving feast. Thanksgiving is a time to reflect on our blessings. I am thankful for family, friends, and good health. What are you thankful for? Here's some questions about the readings that you can answer, think about and answer. You can go back to the reading if you need to, but try to remember and try to answer in complete sentences. I'll read them for you. Where were the pilgrims from? Why did they decide to go to a new land? When did they finally reach land and where was this land? Who helped the pilgrims in Plymouth that first year? How did they help them? Why did they decide to have a feast and when did they have it? Will you celebrate Thanksgiving this year? What foods will be part of your feast? On this next page, <clears throat> I took the verbs that we used that I used in the writing of the story. And I want you to look at the present tense of the verb and come up with the past tense. So I want you to give the correct present or past tense. Sometimes I'm asking you to give the present. Sometimes I'm asking, I've given you the past and uh, I've given you the present and I'm asking you to give the past. So in number one, for example, I gave you the present tense, I help, and you will put in the past tense, I helped. In number two, I gave you the past tense, he gave, 
And the present tense, of course, to that is he gives. Watch the pronoun so that you put the correct form and think about these verbs before you write something down really quickly. Um, I think you should know just about all of them, but some are regular verbs that just need the ED and some are irregular. So try this on your own and you can check your answers a couple pages ahead when you're all finished. So I'm going to skip ahead and show you <clears throat> what I've been learning to do with the computer and that is uh, drawing. And so this is a funny turkey that I drew uh, on the computer and I used the six shapes that you see here um, and I molded them and colored them and placed them to look like this funny turkey. Um, and I am still learning on how to use the computer to do artwork, but I'm having fun. So technology can be a lot of fun. It can also be frustrating, but it can be fun. Okay, so just to keep in the, in the theme of Thanksgiving and our main food, which is turkey, here are some turkey facts. And I got these from the Smithsonian uh, Magazine, a website that you see here. Uh, a group of turkeys is called a rafter or a flock in English. And the sound that turkeys make is called a gobble. They also make a purr sound and a key key sound. A male turkey is called a tom or a gobbler and a female, female turkey is called a hen. Baby turkeys are called poults. The eggs incubate for about 28 days before the babies hatch. Turkeys eat berries, seeds, insects, acorns, and even small reptiles. They also swallow small stones, which sit inside their gizzards and help them digest their food. Turkeys do not have teeth. The flappy skin around a turkey's neck is called a wattle, and the skin that hangs over its face is called a snood. Those are funny words. Turkeys, believe it or not, can run very fast, up to 25 miles per hour. They can also fly as fast as 55 miles per hour. That's amazing. Now, I would say that a turkey on a farm that is being fed a lot to get nice and fat for our table probably can't fly that fast or run that fast, but wild turkeys certainly can fly up to 25 miles per hour or run up to 25 miles per hour and fly as fast as 55 miles per hour. There are six different species of wild turkey and all are native to North America. There is one other species of turkey and it is found on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. All right, you can go ahead and check if you've done the activity with the past tense. Check your verbs here and I'm going to pronounce them for you because pronunciation of course in the past tense is very important. I'll say the present and then the past. Number one, help. I help, I helped. Number two, he gives, he gave. Three, you eat, you ate. Four, she begins, she began. Five, my family calls, my family called. Six, they come, they came. Seven, we decide, we decided. Eight, I do, I did. Nine, we feel, we felt. 10, Mark fishes, Mark fished. 11, the plants grow, the plants grew. 12, it happens, it happened. 13, dad hunts. Dad hunted. We're going to pronounce that tid as a second syllable. Normally we just put a little d sound at the end, like it happens, it happened. But in this one, when a verb, remember when a verb ends in T-E-D or D-E-D in the past tense, we pronounce it as another syllable. So dad hunted. 14, they learn, they learned. 15, he lives, he lived. 16, Tina leaves, T 
Tina left. 17, she reaches, she reached. 18, the boys sail, the boys sailed. 19, you travel, you traveled. 20, they want, they wanted. Again, we're going to pronounce the TED on the end of this. So they wanted. 21, I am, I was. 22, he wishes, he wished. 